Hi, I'm Dorian. I come from Switzerland. I like to talk about the uh, OBD uh, interface of, of the cars. My car is a Impreza, Subaru Impreza uh, WRX uh, 99 version. Uh, it was not sell in uh, in the USA, so um, yeah, I think it's not not that um, popular there. Um, this is because I think um, there's not that much that you can do with with uh, software. But uh, I give it a try today, and uh, yeah, I will show you how to do it. All you need is a Tactrix interface. You can buy it from, from tactrix.com. I, I do a link in the comments, so yeah, it's, a, it's an interface. You can put in USB and uh, you can put in to a smart card uh, yeah, to store. Um, if, if you put a smart card card in it you can store uh, all information on it and you don't have to connect directly to the lap laptop so uh, yeah it's with all the wires and things like this it's not that uh, yeah comfortable with in my car um, there's all uh, also a MacBook Pro I I installed boot camp on it so uh, I can run Windows for for the program that Tactrix offers and uh, yeah down there in my car um, yeah if you see the steering wheel oh, it's really really near there and you can I don't have a cover but uh, I think there was one yeah and to, you can just put in the Tactrix interface there so sorry so there's the interface and I connect the USB to it and then all you need is to connect your USB to your computer with this one I, I make the login and um, with newer cars you can also modify your um, ECU. So with this um, setup you can modify all the new versions of the Impresas I think from the 0.01 uh, versions up to, to the newest and uh, yeah. so it's possible with the newest of them if you take an older it's not possible um, yeah there uh, with this you can also modify your EVOs, um, Mitsubishi EVOs, Lancers, and you can also modify ECUs of other versions of Subarus and Mitsubishi. If you have connected all these things together, you can uh, start up your computer, your Windows. Um, in my case it's a, it's a bootcamp installation, so you you have to make sure that all drivers work properly. You can launch the ROM Raider tool that installs also the the drivers for your Tactrix board down there. And um, if you have opened your program, you can choose the COM port. Basically, the Tactrix cable is a is a COM to a USB converter, so. Uh, yeah, it converts COM data to USB and you have to choose the COM port. Um, this is because it's converted. So there you have to choose, um, you can choose uh, which parameters do you want to log. And for logging you have to put on the uh, ignition. I don't, I don't know if it's ignition is the right word, but um, yeah, to that you see all the lights or um, the bulbs are um, burning. So in my version, it's I don't think it's possible to make any ch changes to the 
to the ECU, but you can log uh, where the where the problems are. You can, you I think you can erase your um, your uh, your fault uh, memory. So uh, so it, if if you had problems with with your car, uh, you you can erase them. You uh, you don't have to take take off the battery for for one hour or more. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but I hope the guy that the programs another software. It's called Open ECU. Make progress so you can um, you can lock your uh, GT99 version. It's a cool guy. Um, please support him. It, it go to his homepage. Thank you for watching this. Um, I will do another video if if I can lock um, and change my ECU, but um, I think, in, for instance, it's not possible. If I'm wrong, so correct me. Uh, do do comments so I can can do better tutorials.